Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back. It's your boy Scholar, and today we got he finally got sued, right? Oh, I'm like 22 seconds ahead. What the hell? But, anyways, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get it. So last time we discussed streamer Jack Doherty, it was not looking good for him. The man went to the hood and got slapped up. He was pressing old men at the boardwalk and in the mall and really anywhere else you can imagine. As you guys know, Jack is most famous at this point for throwing rocks and then hiding behind his security, provoking other grown men to physical altercations Soft shit, bro. I'd have slapped him and his security. I don't give a fuck, bro. What? and then calling in what? his backup. And we have also noted that it's not only Jack acting recklessly in these situations, but also the security who he hires and the serious lack of constraint that they show. In fact, it seems like they are more than anxious to do this quote unquote defending and that they are more or less looking for a problem themselves. But now it looks like this enabling of bad behavior could be backfiring on Jack as he has allegedly been sued over an incident that went down on Halloween night. And I've shown you guys this clip in previous videos, but this is apparently the reason for this alleged lawsuit. So obviously, bro, I, I remember seeing that clip, bro. He sent his ass straight to heaven, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He said, "Boop, night lights out, bro." KO'd. <laughs> they were having some sort of verbal altercation, but obviously nothing here was getting physical. And then, really completely unprovoked, this security guard does the most unprofessional thing and just completely flatlines this guy, punches him right in his face. And hey, shout out to this little dicky looking individual for actually getting back <laughs> up. Oh, no, you stop, stop. What is wrong with you? Are you Bro, Corinne is like, what's wrong with you? Are you fucking crazy? This is a lawsuit, man. What's fucking wrong with you? Bro, I know, like, all jokes aside, Corinne is very nice, bro. I remember I met her in person at Target. She's super nice. Yeah. What's up? Hey, one by one, what's up? Security guard, are you? I gotta say, there's nothing worse than getting punched in your dome piece right in front of the hose. That ass, bro. What? But to be honest though, the female do love a sorry ass dude. You see how they came and like defend him and shit. So he 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 straight. He got a little injury. You know the lady's gonna take care of him. He's straight. The motherfucker who got who swung the punch. Yeah, good luck, bro. And at first, I actually thought that this man was AD who used to come out on No Jumper, but he's apparently a security guard that worked for the baby back in the day before he did some suspect shit when he was protecting him. I mean, if I'm hiring a security guard, no cap, bro. From his track record with the baby, I surprised Jack even hired him. <laughs> because this this security guy used to wild out with with the baby, bro. He used to wild out. He was, bro. Talk shit, he'll smack you straight up. <laughs> I do not want him wearing Balenciaga t-shirts. Like, let me get a Punisher logo. Let me get that slightly racist blue line. In all seriousness, though, this guy is literally twice the size of anyone else featured in this video. And I feel like if God makes you that big, it's almost like what Uncle Ben said. With great power comes great responsibility. And if yep. your big ass can just run around like Donkey Kong, just hitting people on the top of the head and knocking <laughs> them out, you need to be able to control your emotions. I mean, this guy was completely out of pocket. And I'm guessing when that little dicky looking individual got punched in his face, it wasn't only stars he was seeing, okay? This man started seeing dollar signs. That ass. And so he came back with this type of energy for Jack. You better lawyer up, asshole, because I'm not coming back for 30%. I'm coming back for everything. And so TMZ... Everything. <laughs> reported this yesterday youtuber jack doherty sued for assault and battery over bodyguard punch jack doherty is being sued for assault and battery by a man who claims doherty and other man beat him up at a party a few days before halloween Damn. a man named chase gardella is suing youtuber and bodyguard kane kong yeah if i'm getting a bodyguard that motherfucker does not need to have a nickname and then they show some pictures of his lip post punch and it's really not looking good guys jesus christ i mean i do hey, feel like the worse the injury the bigger the pay i feel <laughs> yeah i hope it looks bad you got the right angle 
Uh, you said you need to bleed more? All right, bet. <laughs> like when you're doing the type of streaming that Jack and Neon and even Fousey was doing a couple of months back, you are opening yourself up to a lot of legal action. You're opening yourself up to quite a bit of lawsuits because you're essentially running around acting like a degenerate in public for the entertainment of your audience. And literally all the evidence is going to be right there on your stream. I mean, we just saw this kind of same thing happen with Johnny Somali, who as he was rising to bigger and bigger streaming numbers, was giving these authorities all this different evidence to work with. And this Stupid. all apparently went down at a David Dobrik Halloween party. Okay, it's good to know that that sick f is still out here running around. Cardell <laughs> claims that he was at this Halloween party on October 29th and was talking to Jack and Kane around 12.30 a.m. Jack said, we're gonna fight, us two versus you two, all right, go, which lines up with the YouTube clip. And moments later, Chase says Kong punched him. Chase is saying Damn. he did not consent to being punched, you don't say, and suffered injuries to his head, neck, and face when he fell. You know, the better thing in that situation would have actually been to just not get up, just to have pretended to win unconscious. Like, now I got that CT. That ass, I'd have been laid out on the ground, bro. You see, you see, like, back in days where they have, like, the dead body and have, like, the chalk around them, bro. I'd have been laid out on the ground, bro. <laughs> gone. Snoring, too. Drooling, bro. I'm gone. E brain. My CT acting up. <laughs> Gardella claims that Jack has posted a number of videos that to ass. his YouTube account where his bodyguards intimidate people who react poorly to his pranks. So this lawsuit might go a little bit deeper, okay? There's a lot of evidence lining up against Jack. And maybe we could actually see more people, like, piggybacking onto this thing. I and hope. this is where the DeBaby incident comes in. He also claims that this bodyguard has been in legal trouble for assaults in the past. You'll recall we exactly. reported an earlier alleged incident where he was accused of knocking out a woman while working as security for DeBaby. So this morning, I'm seeing in a comment, like for knocking that girl out. I said, I said, I said, nigga, I ain't hit no girl last night. What you talking about, nigga? Then I'm like, I'm asking, like, was that a girl last night? They're like, no, I don't want no fing girl. I was a dude. The nigga was big, nigga had dreads. Like, that was a dude. But obviously, come to find out, that was a female. And little Dickie's attorney goes on to say, Bro, that's the type of person you want to be as a bodyguard, bro. Someone who's. What? Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't even. Jack, he doesn't deserve to get sued, bro. I don't really care. At this point, like, how is this guy even a bodyguard? How? Say, this was a disgusting, unprovoked assault on a young man by a professional boxer. Ooh, that could make things much worse. Aren't your hands, like, considered lethal weapons at that point? They're saying this all went down at the hands of Jack Doherty. Chase was minding his own business, enjoying a fun Halloween party with friends when he was brutally attacked by a man several times larger than him. Damn. Chase suffered serious injuries that could derail his life and career. God damn. They're really coming for the entire enchilada, guys. And who... Have you seen that punch? Bro, that's my guy hit into another fucking dimension. He like, cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. What the... Who would have thought, and plus, guy... On top of it, it's all over the internet. Bro, GG's. Jack, you're done. I want everything. Your streaming channel, I want it. When this clip originally came out about six months That stream key you have, I want it. <laughs> that account is ago, mine. That Fousey would have been the hero that we didn't know we deserved. Bro, you're a f He didn't even have his kick money yet. Yo, you're f I'm beta. Imagine being 33 years old. I'm beta. But yo, get me some water bottles, John. Give me some You're lucky yo. I made friends with your security guard. We're going back. back. The dog shit hey, yo, you can't bust the whole oh. 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 You sound like a and I'm hoping that this lawsuit truly does set some sort of precedent. Obviously, throughout this whole streamer saga, we have actually predicted this was going to happen in the past, as this is a totally improper use of security time and time and time again. Here's a recent video of a club promoter trying to hype Jack up. <laughs> And the crowd go. Goes mild. I mean, all you have to do is watch this video to understand. Bro, that's the most mayonnaise shit I've ever seen in my life. Dan, how quickly this man would get absolutely schooled in a street fight. 
Watch this. Watch and learn, ready? Okay. I used to do this every day. If you are a grown man who cannot bench 135 at least one time, you need to look into the mirror and ask yourself some serious questions about your life. Like the average middle schooler from Texas is throwing up <laughs> this weight. And obviously being strong oh in the God. weight room isn't like the end all be all, but at this point I'm thinking a strong gust of wind could knock this motherfucker out. I mean the jacks and the neons of the Ax. world really do need to be more careful. Just look at this sparring footage. Oh. Watch your face! And you would see how quickly things could go awry for either one of them. Now, the other big news surrounding Jack is actually that he had a tape leak. And yes, guys, I'm serious. It is that type of tape. I mean, it looks like Roger the Alien is out here trying to give out back shots. Regardless, <laughs> that tape being leaked kind of speaks to a greater issue regarding Twitter right now where you'll see tweets like this going viral, sending Jack Doherty leak to whoever likes this tweet. Like on the current Twitter platform, the way their algorithm is set up, you have tweets like this getting millions of impressions. Obviously, I gotta blur the screen out, but you have all these different OF girls constantly promoting their exclusive content by using these trending topics. Like, what type of basement dweller is out here doing that this ass. shit? Anyone who wants the Jack Doherty leak should DM me and make sure to retweet. And like to say they getting paid for it too. They're just doing it for the clout. Like, bro, as a grown ass man, you really want people to retweet one of your tweets for you to leak and not a grown ass man leaks, bro? <laughs> that shit. That's why I don't even be on Twitter, bro. Honestly, that's following me on Instagram. I don't even be on Twitter. Tweet this post. The mother looks like he's in middle school in this picture i mean to me it's like some of you people out there on twitter seriously need to be jailed imagine you get thrown into your cell oh what are you in here for dude yeah actually i shared the tape of my favorite twitch streamer seriously though guys the yeah, people like, who come post on, this type of shit need some serious help like who is out here running this page okay this is called the blacked pill jack doherty needs black men to teach him how to improve his stroke game lol this is how you dig out guts. Bro, what? But I do gotta say it is pretty glorious for Jack to take this massive L. This little shtick of his has been going on far too long, where he's out here hiding behind his security guards, acting like a tough guy. And I really hope this does serve as a lesson for all the other streamers Facts. out there, that just because you're popping or making money doesn't mean that you can just do whatever the f you want to people. Either way, y'all let me know what you guys think about this story down below. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and yes, subscribing. Sir. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, Latan Superman, and some other. That's it for this video. If you enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and see you for the next one.